I have a really, really big pool pond just hanging out in my basement. Inside this pool pond, it has one really big catfish and one tiny 18-inch pleco. The other thing that I have is a love of taking in fish that uh, need a new home that you know somebody just can't care for anymore. And then I go and pick up that fish. And you can probably piece it all together. That's what we're doing today. We're going to add a, a big fish to this pool pond, which has not always worked out great for me. I'll get into that more. But uh, let's just say, supposedly, I haven't seen, this fish is so big, it's going to make that 26-inch hybrid catfish look small. Intrigued? So am I. So what is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fish Keeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And as always, a very special thank you to all of my members tuning in. Now, like I said, today we are going out and we are getting a truly massive monster fish. I really don't know many of the details. I'll update you kind of as I get them. I just know that the owner is trying to rehome him because he has outgrown the aquarium that he is in and uh, he's just giving him to me. So he's doing the right thing by the fish and I have some room. The first thing that we need to do is kind of gather our giant fish acquiring kit. And for that, we need a few things. First thing that we need is my gigantic 40 gallon tote, which I don't even know if that thing's gonna be big enough, but luckily it's not too far of a drive. We need a net, which again, that's not gonna be big enough. We need a bubbler, which will last just long enough for us to get home, a bucket, and then some towels, and then obviously just me. And away we go. Again? Yep. Okay, you ready? Right, I got him, I got him. Okay. Facebook is available. You know, just a little guy. Put him right there. Now you gotta wrap that, baby. And then they don't get. Up Did you say this is three feet? Or? Yeah, that's three feet. See, he's it's 36 inches. It's when you're looking at him through the tank like that too. It's, I mean, it skews so he, it a little he, bit. He might be close to three. Yeah, I think he's probably two and a half. Probably. Does he look bigger than yours now? And now? Yeah. He's a. Uh, yeah, he's decent size. <laughs> and there he is. This, for those of you that cannot tell, this is another hybrid catfish. This is a red tail and a tiger shovel nose hybrid. He actually has more of uh, the red tail kind of spotting with some of the tiger no shovel nose stripes. And then he's got the red tail and his face is a little bit longer, more like that of a tiger shovel nose than the current one that I have downstairs named Chunk. This fish is nine years old. This is a nine year old catfish. He is every bit of three feet. And uh, yeah, his tank, he just outgrew it and was ready for a new home. And uh, the lovely couple that I was there at their house uh, talked for a long time and uh, they said it was really hard to let this guy go, but uh, they get to see him on YouTube. So if you guys are watching, hi, thanks for the fish. Uh, but uh, they have lovingly named this fish Gus and that is what we're going to continue to call him. So we have Chunk and we have Gus and uh, Gus, his water is uh, about the same temperature as the pond inside. So. Now I get to do that fun run with a soaking wet towel all over again. Let's do that. Good? Yep. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Good, good. All right, so this is actually way better to do it. I did not get nearly as wet, but he is in here. We acclimated him and I used the towel so that way he doesn't, you know, we don't have to risk damaging the fish. We just kind of let him gently swim out. Oh, 
Oh yeah. He's bigger than Chunk. <laughs> Bring out all that water. And he's cruising. I'm just following the trail. <laughs> You're following the trail? Yeah. I'm following up the water. So that is our new catfish named Gusbury. Yeah. What do you think? Good. You like him? Yeah. What do you think about him? Good. You think he's good? Uh -huh. Is he pretty big? Uh huh. And short just like that one. He does look just like that one, and that's because they're actually the same fish, but they look a little bit different, don't they? Yeah, they do. One is very hungry. Hmm. It's very hungry, but that one is not. That one is not very hungry. That one is not very hungry. But that one is. Oh, it's so nice. Fast forward about two days from all that footage that you just saw from when we added Gus into the pond. And you'll notice he's in there. Is he doing great? Absolutely. Has it been going great since we put him in there? Not exactly. You'll probably notice I had to add some cinder blocks in there and not one but four of them and I'll get to why that is but anytime you add any new fish to any type of tank that already has fish there are going to be some some challenges there are going to be some complications that you need to you know either think quickly for or prepare for for me I was prepared I knew that I wanted to have this divider in here because chunk over there has a history of showing aggression towards other catfish So I knew I wanted to put that divider in there. What I didn't anticipate was that this divider was going to uh, get kind of dislodged because I still don't have the like legs on there like I would like. And uh, yeah, good old Gus here was going to get over onto Chunk's side. Now, did Chunk do any damage? No. So what happened? Divider comes down and Gus and Chunk have full range of the pool because it's kind of laying like at a weird angle. and. Uh, I, they seem to be getting along fine, but then I start looking closely and I notice that Gus has these little red marks He's got like the one on his fin. He's got one there. He's got another one right there And I'm like great chunk is beating him up. You know, that's his mo uh, What am I gonna do? I have to divide him again and like I'm gonna have to buy another pool pond well Then I started looking at it more closely and if you look specifically at that mark there it almost looks like lipstick. And then it hit me. Well, and it helped because I, I saw what was actually happening. The Pleco, right there, who is about 18 inches, was actually attached to Gus, kind of gnawing on him. Which I, I know is something that I've heard about Plecos doing that, like kind of eating the slime coat or, or whatever. But he has never done it to Chunk. I mean, Chunk has never had anything like that. So I don't know if it was like part of the stress of dealing with Gus, like something was up with his slime coat or, or what, but I obviously needed to set them back up with the divider to make sure that that wasn't happening. So the Pleco is back on the side with Chunk, apparently his bestest buddy, and then Gus gets his own side here. So what are we going to do about it? This is what I'm thinking, and, and, and stay with me here. What if we made another pool pond, or took this one out, and stretched it that way, so essentially we'd have one gigantic, like, 2,000 gallon plus pond, and then we could put both of the catfish in there together, the Pleco could go do his own thing in some other tank, but then we could also get some more, like, you know, South American-ish kind of tropical fish like that and just have one massive monster pond. Let me know what you think about that. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see me do like a really big massive monster pond. But let's talk about the good because there has been a lot of good that has come from uh, me adding Gus into this pond. He is a truly remarkable fish. He is amazing. He is monstrous. He's 32, maybe 34 inches. So he is a very, very big fish. I'm going to fish nerd out a little bit. You're going to see a little bit of a dork uh, kind of come out in me, and then, then I'll show you feeding him. But uh, 
This is the coolest thing about having these two fish in this pond for me. These two fish are the same fish. And they are an incredible example of like genetics and how like hybrid fish can pick up different traits from their parents and it's so fascinating to me. Chunk here, his spots are very, very individual. They are they are round, they are circular, it's like a speckle pattern and he is primarily like a silvery color, like a dark gray kind of silver with a lot of the white on him and then a shorter, more round head. Well, Gus here definitely has a longer, more blocky head and then his speckled pattern, they're not those individual circles. It's more, you know, just kind of odd shapes and, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. But then he even has some of the stripes that you would see from the tiger shovel nose. So these are the exact same fish, but one is darker and like more speckled. Well, one is kind of silvery purple with spots. They have different body shapes. They have different head sizes. And it's just so cool to me to have two completely unique examples of a hybrid fish swimming together sort of in this little pond in my basement and i'm super excited to be able to get them into a bigger pond and continue to feed them because they are going to get bigger even though gus is nine years old he will get bigger but uh, speaking of feeding last night i did feed him by hand and he had no problem taking the food from me and then chunk got gel i mean, you'll see you'll see We'll, we'll build up to petting. So yeah, what do you guys think of Gus? Let me know what you think. I am so happy to have this fish and I am so fortunate that the previous owners of this fish really decided to do right by the fish and just give him to me so that way they could uh, watch him here on YouTube but trust that he was in a good home and uh, is gonna be well taken care of. Uh, along the lines of a good home, I know they need some more space. So I'm like I said, I'm gonna work to get that divider out of there and we're going to work on getting a bigger pond set up uh ideally very soon so definitely stick around for that but uh for now hit that thumbs up if you haven't already uh say thank you again to the previous owners for giving me gus i hope you guys are as excited as i am about what he means and uh you know maybe we'll find some more fish that uh need a new bigger home and uh yeah i'll be able to do that so thank you guys for watching remember this is zach with sc fish keeping reminding you that every fish is a keeper thanks for watching thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>